Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be the second Lua tutorial. And we're going to be starting off by making a game mode, which is a compilation of a bunch of Lua files. So, let's get started by going to your server's directory. And we're going to go to Gary's Mod. And we're going to go down to Game Modes. And right here we have a bunch of game modes set up. Now, base.gamemode is the foundation of a lot of game modes. We're going to be referencing this in a little bit. All right. So, let's create a new folder. It's going to be called My Game Mode. And you can change that to whatever you want your game mode mode to be. It's just a basic name. And in here we're going to have three different folders. We're going to have a content folder. We are going to have an entities folder. And also, last but not least, we're going to have a game modes folder. Now while we're in this folder, you also need to create a text file, which you name it um, whatever your game mode is. So we call this my game mode. So we'll call it my game mode.txt. And of course, you'd change that to whatever the game mode is named at this point. So we're going to be including parentheses right here. We're going to say, I mean, um, quotations right here, not parentheses. My game mode. Then we're going to have curly bracket and a tab. We're going to put base. So the base game mode of this game mode is going to be base game mode, which I showed you a little bit earlier. Now we're going to have the title of your game mode which will say my game mode. This is going to be the maps or types of maps that your game mode uses. So if you're a trouble in Terrace Town, you put TTT like that, but we're not going to be doing that because we're not trouble in Terrace Town. So we're going to use the basic Gary's Mod maps. And you can change that later when you make maps for your game mode. So menu system. This is going to say, do I want my game mode to appear in the multiplayer map list, or game mode list rather. And so one for yes, zero for no. So I'm going to put one for yes. And then we have workshop ID, which when you create your game mode and upload it to the workshop, it's assigned an ID. So you grab that ID and you put in these quotes. All right. Now we're going to end curly bracket. And we're going to save that. And you're done with that file for now. So then we go into the game mode folder. And we're going to need to create three different files. Now, in order to make a Lua file, you can either A, open a file and save it as .lua, or B, which is much easier, we're going to put init, that's the name. You see how it says the extension right here? Well, how you do that is you go to View, and it says File Name Extension. So you unclick it if you don't want files extension showed, and click it if you do. I do in this case. And what that does is when you rename the file, you can actually go here and rename the file type as well. So now, once you say yes to this, it is a Lua file. Isn't that cool? So init.lua is going to be all your server-related commands, or things related to the server only. Now, we're, just for time's sake, we're going to copy and paste this and rename it. And I'm going to rename this one share.lua. And we're going to have a third file called cl.init. Now, cl.init is all your client-related stuff, so like the client's HUD and things like that. Whereas, like I said, init is all your server stuff. Now, shared.lua is going to be the uh, stuff which is shared between the server and the client. Right? So, init.lua is going to be your primary file. We're going to drag it up to Notepad++. And to check that we have gmod lua lexer installed properly, which you should from the last video. If you type out this command, it should have a different color, which it does. See, different color. Actually, I'll keep it this size so it's easier for you to see. So we have add cslewid that file or file. Now, what does this command do? Uh, when your client joins your server, it will get them to download whatever file that we specify right here, which is in this folder. So we want them to download share.lua and if we press control D it'll duplicate the line and the second file we want them to download is init.lua alright um, or clinit.lua we won't have to worry about init.lua in this case 
Now we're also going to have a second command in our init.lua called include. And this is going to execute whatever file that we put in here in this file. So if we have a bunch of code in shared.lua, which is the one we're including, it will execute in init.lua when it runs. All right, simple enough. So that's all we're going to need right now for init.lua. Now we're also going to put shared.lua up here. And we're going to put cl uh, underscore init. So remember, shared.lua is shared between init.lua, the server side, and cl underscore init, which is the client side. So we're going to have to include shared.lua in the client side as well. All right, and that way everything we put here is or put in shared will now be broadcast or executed in server side and client side just as we intended. Now what do we want in shared.lua? Well it's a good thing to put some details about your game mode in this um, file right here. So we're going to put my game mode. So that's the name of the game mode, gmod.game uh, name. And then you have uh, gm.author. Say gmod, that's a strange it's gm. Then you're going to put holy wire mod in this case. Well, you're not going to put that. I'm going to put that. You're going to put your name here. And then going to put email. So if you want to include your email, you put your email at blah.com. And then we're going to put, wait, your has a R in it, noted. We're going to put website as the next one. And that's going to be your website, not your you website, <laughs> dot com, and that's going to give you credit to that. So, something also before I close this video out is I want to show you a very good resource, and that is wiki.garysmod.com, which I'm going to put in the description below. And here you can search out any of the commands that you want to use, and this is going to be pretty much your best friend when you're coding Lua files. So it takes a little while to load that. So we're going to put add cslua file. And as you can see, it says add cslua file. And it gives you a little description of what it does, some arguments, and sometimes it'll give an example. So anyway, that's going to be the basics of setting up your game mode. And I'm going to cut the video off here because it's a lot of information and I don't want to confuse you guys. So I will catch you in the next video in the tutorial series and I hope to see you then.